going on you bunch of nerds <laughs> welcome back I got something different here for you guys um, for my current subscribers don't be concerned I'm not switching over to just these type of videos um, I just want to start making these type of videos because the how-to videos sometimes you run out of content you know based on how many mods come out and whatnot so these will be happening in between the other ones uh, still going to be more how-to videos than these but I know there's a lot of server owners out there or players that want to start their own server so how I'm gonna roll with this is almost start with the basics I'm not gonna dive right in how to install a complicated mod this first one's gonna show how to install basic mods and set the JSON file and then the next step I'm going to show you what all the files do and then the following video will start installing harder mods uh, the way I see it is you need the basics first and if you understand what the fi each file does once you learn the files you can do anything with one item and make your own files actually it's not that difficult it's not as difficult as people think it just takes a lot of time and patience and accuracy you really have to pay attention to what you're doing alright so let's get straight to it I'm going to show you how to install a basic mod um, this mod has no items so it's not an item mod like uh, guns clothing etc alright so how I start is I go to the mod page go to workshop find the mod you want on Steam copy the name go to your GTX server this will work for any server guys not just GTX I just happen to have GTX okay it just might be laid out different same idea all works the same okay alright so on the main page look for your Steam Workshop note not all servers have a auto mod install because that's what this is you paste the name of the mod hit enter and there it is okay let's back up a step though because I'm getting ahead of myself and this is the first time doing these type of videos stop your server <laughs> Alright, I missed the most important step. Um, they say to let it sit for three minutes before you start doing any changes. Um, I usually do let it sit for a couple of minutes on a live server. This is just a test server, so it doesn't matter. Um, in any case, because I'm not going to make you guys sit three minutes. Just make sure the sure, server is sh shut down. I can't talk today. I just woke up. That's why. All right. So you got it highlighted. Now be careful of this on GTX at least. And don't make sure it's highlighted. You can actually have this highlighted and hit install over here. Okay. And then install that one. Long story. So hit install and wait. If it has any mods that's required for it, prequisites, I think that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> um, it will install them automatically. So if you make a mistake and you install, you know, let's say this mod flip transport and it requires another mod to rely upon, it will install it automatically. With that being said, always look at your workshop and see what the required mods are while we're waiting in fact right here so on the mod page right here required items C CF now I already have this installed and I'll show you here in a moment when this is done um, where to s where the mods are some of these mods will take a while some of them are pretty quick uh, 
I've been building servers for I don't know I lost track honestly a year and a half two years I am by no means and you know I know advanced techniques I guess you could say I've learned some but I do know how to build a server and get it running and keep it running even though Daisy likes to patch and break the mods and you have to fight with that and whatnot. All of these videos will be based on the final work you do for these mods. Nothing to do with editing the mods because a lot of these mods on uh, Steam you're not supposed to break open and edit even though some people do. Okay, so now go back to this. Well, actually, I'm already on it. This is how you see what's installed right there. All right, as you can see, I've already been doing some testing for our live server. There it is. That's how you would uninstall it. Now, with GTX servers and probably other servers, let's back up here go up to configuration files this is important if your server doesn't add it then you have to add it now these are not in proper load order it's a test server doesn't matter that much we'll go over load order on another video load order matters to some point for sure uh, like normally I would have CF first and admin tools last okay but you can see it added flip transport for me on GTX server notice how it starts notice the I think they call it semicolon and it separates each mod just before the at okay at the end do not put one there if it's a server you have to add this this is what tells the server to start the mod okay all right now we've got the mod installed we're going to start the server here's the thing is this mod has a file for it okay it's called a json file j s o n it's just a settings file for you as a server owner to make adjustments. Some mods have them, some don't. Okay. Um, when you start the server up, it actually creates that file. So it's not going to create it till you start the server up. I would imagine manually you could throw it in there. Um, on another video I'll show you how to go manually into your workshop mods. I want to keep this one simple, get you guys started. Um, but I usually just start the server, let it create itself. All right, server started. Let's see if it created the file yet. So GTX. Let's go back here. Hit File Manager. Hit the Profile folder. That's something you have to learn on your server. What's the what is the profile folder? These are your mods installed on your server. Don't be concerned with all this stuff. This is what matters. This I will get into later on another video. That's going to be an important one. So this is SC happens to be a profile folder for um, GTX. All right. Now I installed this mod purposely to show you something. All right. Notice how code lock is here. And it's name proper mobile base. Okay, let's show you code lock just for the heck of it. So there's your JSON files. It even creates logs. Okay. Now some mods like this one, notice its name configs, but then the files flip transport. That will happen sometimes. As it's 95% of the time, it's going to be named. The folder will be named. Okay. Don't rename the folder because it might mess with it. In fact it will. Okay. Alright, so editing these okay. You can edit it live with the server running. 
I don't recommend it unless you have to. Um, typically what I do is this. Right click, download. It's just going to download a copy. Go to your downloads folder, which mine's stuck over here off screen. And there you go. Um, you'll notice, see this says edit with Notepad++. If you're going to be a server owner, you best get it. Okay? Not just Notepad. Uh, it will help highlight errors if you make a mistake like certain ones. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> Hit undo up here if you mess up. Let's see if it highlight this. Okay, yeah. See how it changed the color? Now, and if you mess up, just go up, hit undo. See? and it'll go back to default. Undo again because we did it multiple times. There you go. And you'll notice you won't have a save option. That means you went all the way back. Alright, so for this one, not going to go over details because we're not talking about the mod, but you can see there's different settings in here. Okay. Refer to the workshop um, and what some of these settings do. Lots of times they're going to have a Discord, you have to go to Discord, which I kind of hate that to be honest with you, but it's what they do because it's easier for them to monitor. Okay. Alright, that is it. Very quick video, um, but we'll get, you, we'll get you started. That's the basic start of mods. Nothing to it, guys. This is the easy stuff. We'll get into the hard stuff later and have some fun. Alright. You nerds take care. I'll probably bring you another video like this in a few days or a week. Depending on how busy I am. I work full time, so I'm a very busy guy. Nerds take care. Later.